Ferreira. Do you believe, support, or agree everything written in your party's platform? What do you not believe, if any? Thanks. Ms. Albanese? We won't record the conversation. Yeah, so the question was, do you believe everything that is in the platform? And if there's anything that you disagree with, if you wanted to share that. Okay. Uh, yes, I believe everything that is in the platform. Uh, I believe that there are some very good initiatives in the Liberal platform, and as I mentioned in my remarks, I think that uh, many of them would benefit the residents of uh, York Southwestern. Uh, I mentioned a few of them, um, for example, the after-school programs for children 6 to 12. for university students and college students. parents that may have one uh, youth or perhaps two or even three. I, I spoke to uh, one gentleman, one resident the other day, and he said, I have three kids in university. Uh, and he, he finds that this would help him tremendously, 30% off, that's a, uh, $1,600 for each university student, $730 for college students. I think even all the initiatives that are there to be helping our seniors, uh, giving back now, the, getting back to the home visits, doctor's home visits in the house. I think those are very important. Uh, the home renovation tax credit of $1,500 every year if the help seniors be longer in their home. Any deferral and any tax increase in the future until the senior sells their home. That's also very important. And creating jobs. Uh, that's uh, at, the, at, at the center of our platform. And I think that's very important for everyone, for any resident, no matter what their age. So I think that's very important as well. And affordability uh, is, um, yes, uh, something that is on everybody's mind. But I want to say that. We are giving relief for hydro, 10% right now, not in 2016. Thank you uh, for the question, Juan. Uh, I, I have to say uh, I fully support uh, the NDP's uh, platform. I think that we have the best leader, Andrea Horvath, with the best uh, flag. development of our platform and some of the ideas that you see in that. Um, I want to talk uh, in terms of that platform specifically about, about jobs um, because it is, uh, it is an issue that comes up repeatedly at the doorstep in New York Southwest and this is an area with higher than average unemployment. We've heard claims from the government, uh, which I think claims that are full of holes, that the, uh, the uh, HST would create 600,000 jobs. Uh, far from the truth. But we can do some things meaningfully to create jobs. And these are just a couple of, I think, pretty good ideas that we came up with. One, we are blessed with a lot of natural resources in this province. And what we're saying is if a tree gets, gets cut down, the mineral gets dug up, why on earth are we shipping that raw material overseas or to Quebec or to the United States? The jobs should stay in Ontario. Let's keep Ontario. buying things, from office supplies to food for cafeteria to vehicles, not just the government of Ontario, but municipalities, hospitals, school boards, government agencies. In the U.S., President Obama came up with something called Buy America. If you're using public dollars, look first for an American supplier before you go overseas or offshore. It makes a lot of sense in the U.S. And in these difficult economic times, it makes a lot of sense here in Ontario. That's why we brought forward our Buy Ontario plan. Both of those ideas would create tens of thousands of good-paying jobs right here across the province and here at York Southwest. Thank you. 